In this video, we will cover the figure eight knot and all of the variations of the figure eight knot which are useful in the rock climbing world. So, first of all is the standard or the single or the basic figure eight knot. It is much like the overhand knot, as you can see here, but the figure eight is an overhand knot with an extra half twist at the top before going through the loop. It's actually quite an easy knot to tie, and it clearly looks like a figure eight, like the number eight. The double figure eight on a bite is tied in much the same way as the first figure eight, the single figure eight. You take a bite of rope, which means folding the rope over on itself, and then treating the two pieces of rope as if it were a single rope, you just tie a figure eight knot. And now you have a double figure eight knot on a bite. This is useful when you can clip it with a carabiner. Now, the exact same knot is the double figure eight follow through. It's the same knot, but it's tied differently. To start off, you tie the single figure eight with a nice long tail. Then, you take the end of the rope and you retrace it through the knot, following the same piece of rope from the bottom all the way up through the top. So you retrace along the original line, following every bend, every curve, and every follow through. And finally, the last step, the tail will come out the top of the knot. That is the double figure eight follow through. It's the same as a double figure eight on a bite, but it was tied in the follow through method. This is a very important knot for tying around something that is not clippable, such as tying into your harness or tying around a tree or something like this. Now, the double figure eight with two loops tied on a bite is an extremely strong and useful climbing knot that a lot of climbers surprisingly don't know. So, take a big bite of rope and tie your figure eight knot, but don't slip the end through. Instead, pull the strand through, not all the way, and the very tail end you should flip all the way up around the knot to the top. In this you can see how the loop has been flipped to the top and then you cinch it down and now you've got a double figure eight with two loops. Now these loops can be clipped together and treated as one or they can be clipped independently However, they do need to be clipped with carabiners because we tied the knot on a bite. Now the same knot, the double figure eight with two loops, but tied using the follow through method. This is useful for tying around trees or equalizing anchor points. So tie a single figure eight with a very long tail. Now, we are not retracing the knot, but what we're doing is we're going up through the bottom loop, around the top rope, and then back through the bottom loop. So here you can see we've looped through the bottom, around the top, and back through the bottom again. Then we follow the rope back, and now on this step we will retrace the original figure eight. Now we are retracing the original figure eight. So following the original single figure eight, back around, through, and follow every bend. And of course, it will finish when you come out the top. 
And now we've tied the exact same knot, except we did it using the follow-through method. Again, these loops can be clipped together or independently, and they don't need to be clipped. They can be tied around a tree, around a harness, and the two loops can be different lengths, which is very useful for equalizing anchors. The flat double figure eight is often used to uh, connect two ropes. So you put the two ropes ends together and treat them as if they were a single rope and tie your basic figure eight knot. This knot is sometimes used as a rappel knot to join two ropes. However, this is extremely dangerous and should never be used in rock climbing. The flat figure eight is not appropriate for rock climbing use as it can fail. However, some people like the flat knots for rappelling because they tend not to get stuck. A better knot for rappelling would be the directional double figure eight. So taking two ropes, joining two ropes, but you join them the in opposite directions. So take either rope, either one, and tie a single figure eight. Then take your second rope and retrace the figure eight from the bottom up. And what you will have is a double figure eight that joins the two ropes together. But in a much sec more secure fashion and where the ropes are angled in the correct directions. This knot has no danger of untying itself and would be a much better choice than the flat figure eight for rappelling. Again, the flat figure eight is not appropriate for rock climbing because it can come untied. The directional figure eight, as seen here, is a very good choice for joining two ropes to rappel.